Yeah, sure. So I work in uh, the University of London in in the UK. Um, my home department is the Institute of Modern Languages Research, which is a bit of a specific department in the sense that it has a national remit to uh, promote and facilitate research in uh, languages, cultures and societies across the UK and internationally. So what we do in the Institute, we, we don't teach undergraduates, but we do teach postgraduate students, we teach MA students, and we focus on uh, that mission to promote languages research across the UK. So, so my current project, which I've been working on here, is in the area of, of, of world literature and world making. So I'm, I'm, I'm trained in, in, in French studies and in, in post-colonial studies, but really my work has taken me into thinking about uh, questions of, of, of world making, of, of world literature, and the kinds of um, different or alternative discourses of world making um, that writers and critics from outside of Europe advance. So I've been working here in particular on the writers and critics uh, Abdel Kebir Khatibi, who's from Morocco. I've been working on Edouard Glissant from Martinique and the Algerian writer Gauter Adimi, who writes in French but who comes from, from Algeria. And I'm interested in the way that these writers um, adopt self-conscious and self-reflexive ways of um, or self-reflexive discourses of world making and how uh, they challenge dominant Eurocentric discourses of, of world making. So uh, working here in particular, so, so it's Jean-Michel Gouvard who is a professor in the department of French who, inv who invited me to Bordeaux, but I've been able to meet several colleagues from across the university, so uh, colleagues in the research group Pluriel. Um, I've met colleagues from comparative literature, so who run the uh, comparatist seminar. I was able to attend the comparatist seminar. I was also able uh, to go along to some of Pluriel's events while I was here. So I've been quite lucky to, to meet a, a range of colleagues and students. I presented um, to students and colleagues uh, uh, during my time here. So you know, it was really interesting to be able to meet a range of colleagues, uh, not just um, Jean-Michel, who, who was kind enough to invite me. So, so, so yeah, so some, I mean, I think that there are clear advantages of being able to exchange with colleagues outside of your own, um, outside of your own country, outside of your own discipline. Um, but I, I also think it's that the real benefit is being able to share your work uh, among colleagues who aren't necessarily coming from the same disciplinary area as you or the same national context or the same national tradition as you. So it's been very interesting for me to have to translate various ideas from English into French and really think about uh, the process of communicating those, those, those theoretical ideas, um, particularly around world making. Uh, in, in the French language and really talking through with colleagues about that process. So it, it's really uh, a benefit, a kind of practical benefit. So, of you know, meeting colleagues, setting up networks and uh, keeping those connections going and finding links between uh, various people's research projects. But also it's been about uh, that process of, of self-reflection um, and uh, seeing one's work outside of the kinds of national traditions that disciplinary traditions that normally uh, configure uh, the way the way we work. So I, I mean I've already got several projects uh, running with uh, Jean-Michel Gouvard. So I think yesterday we had a presentation from uh, an invited writer in London, Eric Plamondon, which Jean-Michel chaired. And then t just tomorrow, we've got uh, Leila Slimani, who's a, a Moroccan writer coming to London. And that's a project that we've been working on already for a while. Um, with other colleagues, it's been a question of working out how we can uh, perhaps invite colleagues over to London uh, to do uh, some workshops or uh, to run a conference. Um, and apart from that, 
uh, we want to really try and establish a student exchange as well. So after the end of Erasmus, the UK government came up with a replacement for that, which is called Turing. So we've been trying to uh, set up an agreement between the two universities so that you know we can have staff coming and going, but also, but also students. So that would be the ideal uh, scenario, really.